Hello, thanks for watching this short video focused on the new QuickBooks Online. And we're going to be talking about money bars. There are several money bars throughout QuickBooks Online, or progress bars, if you will, colored. Just very easy to inspire workflow and make sure you're not missing anything and make sure that when you're using QuickBooks Online, things aren't falling through the cracks. So the first one, obviously, is right on the home page. And basically, it just shows your income, overdue invoices, as well as what's paid you know the last 30 days and you can literally just click in on a color and it'll bring me to the customers list and here's a money bar for customers and it goes from estimate unbilled activity open invoices overdue and then what's been paid remember quickbooks online does not yet support sales orders or else you would see a tab for that there and it just shows all the customer list and i can drill on each one here's open invoices these are overdue here's unbilled activity and here's the estimate and just to kind of follow through the workflow of the bar and then we'll look at the one under vendors you know I can go to cool cars the next logical step is to start an invoice and it'll then convert the estimate to the invoice when you're on the invoice you go ahead and just click the estimate there on the right add the actual estimate to the invoice and now it's a posting transaction now estimates you don't have to turn on anymore in the new QuickBooks Online or delayed charges. They come on automatically. So there's nothing in preferences you have to do, although there are a couple other preferences for estimates specifically on messaging, things like that. But they're on by default when you're using um, you know, Essentials and Plus. Simple Start also has estimate, but delayed charges is just going to be in Essentials and Plus. And the invoice will show the link transaction. It's linked to the estimate. And of course, I can drill down on anything that's blue with an underline on it. And it'll bring me into the estimate itself. And I'll go ahead and click Save and Close. And then Unbuild Activity, much the same way. So now I have no estimates in the, in the next box. Uh, better color blue, Unbuild Activity. And I can go ahead and start the invoice from those two Unbuild ac uh, Activities. We'll pull up here and I can go ahead and Save and Close that and so on and then here's my open invoices when i have the open invoices i can go ahead to receive a payment for a particular uh, customer and it brings me right there and i can go ahead and say i receive a payment and then the next box overdue invoices in red these are things that need your attention so i can drill in on the invoice itself and do a reminder or a payment print out the statement etc and then these are, are what's been paid you know over the last 30 days uh, another way to do the money bar too is when I go to transaction sales, I also have a progress or money bar for sales transactions. So remember that same thing, estimate, unbuild activity, open invoices, overdue, last paid. Now let's look at vendors in much the same way. And I'm using the plus version of QuickBooks Online, so I have a purchase order. And I can go to the purchase order and click on that. And there's Philip Masonry, and I'm going to create a bill. It'll be the next logical step. And I can add the purchase over over on the right. It'll add it right to the bill down here in the item details. And then I can go ahead and save and close. And now I have a bill for that. And I'll put in some terms here, net 15. Take it from there. And now I have open bills. And the next logical steps are to make a payment. You can just either drill into the bill, which will bring me to the, the bill itself. It's on the you know transaction center of that particular vendor. right? And then go ahead and make payment or even from expenses you know i can go in and look at a particular bill or filter by a vendor as well and then go make the payment so a lot of places to actually get to the next step or the next logical action but the vendors list also has a money bar and here's overdue bills and then of course what's been paid in the last and very simply i'll just go to boston insurance agency and make a payment and bring me to the bill payment window and i can just click save and close if I went to write a check, for example, and this is not really anything to do with the money bars, but I wanted to really reinforce the just beautiful way that QuickBooks Online reminds people when they're going to do something wrong, how to do it correctly. So I have an open bill. I want to do a bill payment check. But let's say someone does go to, uh, you know, pay, uh, write a check, right? And they will do it for Diego's there. And on the right, it's going to kick open there on the drawer. And, and that way, when I, it's going to remind me, I already have a bill for this. Why am I writing a check? I don't want to double book the expense. So when I click add, it changes it to a bill payment check number 71. So I just love that uh, feature there. So. so again, and then here's what's been paid in the last 30 days for vendors. So whether it's home, I have my income bar or the customer list and i have a money bar progress bar there or the vendor list 
or when I go to transaction sales, I have you know this colorful bar that kind of walks me through the workflow next logical step. And that's in the new QuickBooks Online. Hope that was helpful. Have a great day.